Hey everyone, so today we are drawing in my sketchbook again, and I say today, but it's actually just today for you guys. Um, I did this spread like uh, a couple weeks ago. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Um, definitely at least two weeks ago, maybe? I don't know. Honestly, time is, is just not a thing right now, and... <laughs> like, I usually know what day of the week it is, but, but honestly, that's just, um, since I live with my parents and they have, like, you know, a Monday through Friday job, I usually can gauge what day of the week it is. Sometimes I'm off, sometimes it's Thursday when I think it's Wednesday, but, like, honestly, that usually doesn't really matter. Like, the day of the week doesn't really matter for, to me, because, like, really, the only difference is Fridays. And Saturday nights, we have takeout. Our normal night for takeout is Friday. Um, like, before all of this. We just always, like, growing up, we used to do, like, pizza nights on Fridays. Um, but uh, now it's just kind of just takeout in general. And because of, of uh, the, you know, corona, <laughs> um, you know, because of the thing that no one wants to talk about, but is the only thing you can talk about, um, we are... Also, you know, just doing more to support local um, businesses and restaurants and stuff and doing takeout on Saturday as well, which honestly, I'm not complaining about. That sounds great. Even though, honestly, um, my mom's cooking is really good, so I also I don't mind that. But she cooks and I do the dishes, so I don't have to do the dishes on Friday and Saturday nights, and that's, uh, that's a plus. <laughs> so... Um, but basically, what am I going? Where am I going with this? Okay. Um, I wanted to, before I ramble too much, and I've already rambled quite a bit, um, I wanted to just say that I'm probably going to be just talking, <laughs> like, about whatever I want to talk about, because usually I try and make this commentary, like, while I'm watching the video, so I can, like, see what's happening. Like, I don't know what you guys are looking at right now. Pretty sure that I started recording um, after stuff was already on the paper. I'm pretty sure like the lung drawing or whatever, or heart drawing or whatever I drew. What was it? A heart? Heart and lungs or something like that. Um, I drew that and I drew some like leaves, I believe, before I started the rest of the spread that I recorded. Um, Cause I just, sometimes when I'm recording, I just, uh, I get daunted by a spread, an empty spread. So I was like, I'm gonna just start working in this spread that's like, you know, partly um, started. Cause who cares, you know? Like, the, the, you know, it's whatever. Um, so I'm not gonna really talk too much about what's on the screen, but if you guys are interested, I will, um, like if you guys are watching, which if you can hear me, you probably are. Um, so I will just like leave little annotations of what I'm drawing on the screen so you guys can read that if, uh, or whatever yeah because like I said I did that spread like two weeks ago it's kind of hard to like commentate on a drawing that you did you know several several days ago you know it's like I, I don't, it's like oh that's a thing I did I don't really know what to talk about you know what I mean so so yeah and so I'm recording this late you know I I meant to record this commentary on like Tuesday night because I have this ideal like situation where I record my commentary on Tuesday night and then I edit the video on Wednesday night and then I or Wednesday during the day and then I upload it like either Thursday or Friday depending on my mood but I um start okay so basically I think it was like Saturday Sunday and Monday I was really productive or fairly productive you know give or take I think um on average, I worked on my animation like three hours each day, which for me is like pretty good. Like that's a, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like not a lot, but like also, I don't know. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> sounds really sad, but it is. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I was like pretty good with that. Um, and I was doing really well, you know, working, doing my thing. And then Tuesday... Um, I just, I just couldn't get up, and I couldn't wake up, and, like, I just kept snoozing, and so, like, I just kind of blew the, blew the morning, and then, like, usually, 
I am used to that and I'll like I'll kind of be lazy in the morning but then after after lunch I'll I'll start working and so that's usually why my productivity is only like you know three or four hours because I start in the afternoon um but like I don't know what it was I just couldn't start working again I'm not I didn't think I burnt myself out or anything like that I think I just I was I gave in to the feeling of just not gonna be a productive day I'm gonna just lay in bed and not do anything and then I was just like that this feels like shit you know like I I was doing that so much in in April honestly I don't really like thinking about it <laughs> like in late March and April kind of time like I would just like Sundays would be productive and some days I would just lay in bed and honestly I I don't even know if that was a coronavirus you know like sadness it was just it was just like laziness I don't know and like everybody's talking about like how we're allowed to be lazy right now you know some you know there's like two sides like there's like the this is the time to be productive this is the time to like learn a new skill blah blah blah, blah. and then there's a side that's like you know self-care and like you know mental health and uh uh you know it's okay to be you know lazy quote unquote but um uh, I don't know. I was just felt like I was reverting back to how I was like earlier last year um, after I graduated college. Um, so basically, I got up late, like 3 p.m. You know, usually I'm like, you know, oh, the day's over. But I was like, you know what? There's still some hours left, you know? So I started working and... Um, as you know, some of you guys know, I like watching YouTube videos while I work. Um, I don't really like watch watch like religiously, but I'll just have it in the background as something to listen to mostly. But I was like, you know what? Maybe I should uh, dive into the world of podcasts. I think I talked about in um, in a video before because I, I just podcasts kind of uh, scare me. I don't know where to start. There's so many, you know, avenues to go. Um, but what I kind of was interested in is like kind of a, like an audiobook type thing. And I was, I wasn't sure if podcasts had audiobooks because like, because like when I think of podcasts, I think of like two people just like bantering together, just talking about whatever they want to talk about. And honestly, to jump into that without really knowing the people that are bantering together, like that's not really any interest of me. Like I'll listen to one episode and I'm like, okay you guys seem to be having a lot of fun but I don't know you at all you know what I mean so I kind of wanted to find like a just like a story um and that was actually uh like the best decision I ever made so I just found um this story um story podcast thing that um it's called like Alice isn't dead I don't know if anybody's heard of it it was like it was all right it, it turned into a bit of a disappointment, but I enjoyed the first part. I basically, I finished the whole thing, um, cause, you know, animation is a lot, and, uh, you, you <laughs> can, you can eat those hours up, you know what I mean, but, um, um, I started listening to it Tuesday afternoon at, like, 3 o'clock, 3.30, something like that, and I, it was just so such a good idea to like listen to something that like I could fit because like animation is so just repetitive and mundane especially when you're not in the like decision making process like obviously sometimes I have to pause the podcast to like think about something um so I don't like mess up or I'm like you know transferring files or like um if I'm doing any you know decision making I'll have to pause it and just like figure out what I'm doing but then when I'm doing like just mundane repetitive frames over and over again you know um I can listen to that and I can get lost in the story and um and just the hours go by without me even realizing it like I worked I mean that day I don't think I worked very long because I started so late um I think I still worked like three hours or something like that that day um probably because I probably worked till dinner or something like that um so I still like got a lot done um and then and then Wednesday was even better and so that was one reason why I just 
decided not to edit was because I just was like, okay, you know what? I actually feel like animating, you know? Because, like, I basically was like, okay, you're only going to listen to podcasts when you are animating. Like, that will be your entertainment while you work. You don't listen to that any other time. So that way, like, if I, like, really want to listen to the podcast, you got to work while you do it. Um, But then it was, like, awesome because, like, Wednesday, I worked for, like, six hours or more. Probably more, honestly. Like, I worked for, like, so long. I mean, the scene I'm working on is, like, oh, my God, it's taking me so long. So, like, I've been working on the same scene for, like, a week now. I'm used to doing, like, really small, easy scenes that are just a few frames that I can blow in a day. And it's done in a day. But this one's, like, a lot bigger a lot more complex so I've been working on it for so long that it's actually really nice to like escape into a story that I can just like visualize a story and just have that in my mind and just like get lost in it so that way like I can hopefully just not think about how this scene is taking so long it's been so many hours and I haven't done anything you know what I mean or at least it feels like that um so I don't know that's been like really helping um oh my god I just, I wish I started that so much sooner, and I'm, I beat myself up so much and so easily because of that, but I beat myself up easily in general, you know, I'm just like, oh, I should have done that earlier, I should have done that sooner, I should have blah, 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 but you know, fuck that, you know, fuck those feelings, Maya, you're, you're doing it now, <laughs> and that's, uh, that's the important part, like, and also, just because I found this thing that's working right now doesn't mean it's always gonna work. And I have to remind myself that. But honestly, I think it's uh, it'll work for a while, I think. You know, listening to music worked for a while. Uh, um, you know, listening to YouTube videos worked for not as long, but, you know, a decent while. I think podcasts will work for a while, honestly. Or, like, I might move to audiobooks or something like that. Again, podcasts are just a big world that I have never been a part of. So it's a little bit, a little bit, um, daunting, but it's, it's going good, you know? So I, you know, I finished Alice Isn't Dead, um, and then I started this other one that I literally just did the, I just listened to the first, like, couple, um, episodes, but I think it's called, like, something Magic Tavern, like, Welcome to the Magic Tavern, or something like that, I don't know. Um, or hello from the magic tavern, I don't know, but it's, oh my god, it's, it's a, it's, it's a lot different than, um, Alice Isn't Dead, because Alice Isn't Dead was just, like, a lot of, like, you know, it's, like, kind of, like, a mystery type thing, and a lot of questions, and it's kind of scary and, like, uh, suspenseful, whereas the magic tavern one is, like, more funny and silly and just, you know, a little bit, uh, uh, you know, just, just a fun, you know, so it's a little bit more enjoyable to listen to, and that less stressful, <laughs> oh my goodness, um, but yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I've, um, I've also been struggling to, like, just talk to, like, you know, just, like, FaceTime friends, and, like, call friends, I mean, like, messaging is usually fine, but, like, if, like, a friend, like, just a one-on-one FaceTime call is, like, I I hate it because I don't really know what to talk about. There's just nothing to talk about. Because usually, like, when I'm catching up with a friend, you know, we, like, catch each other up about, like, what's going on. But, like, I sometimes I feel like, I mean, I, you know, nothing is going on. Like, every day is the same. Like, like I said earlier, like, I don't even know, like, time is just irrelevant. Like, I'm at the end of week eight, I believe. I mean, like, it does, it, like, it both feels, you know, longer than eight weeks and shorter than eight weeks. Like, it's so bizarre. Like, it feels like it's been forever since I've, you know, was at work. But it also feels like no time at all. It's just the most bizarre, like, space and time we're living in right now. It's just so weird. It's like I'm in, in this weird, it's like I'm in this, like, weird dream. I don't know. It's just really, it's a weird sensation. And... I was, I was, like, talking to a a co-worker of mine, like, reached out to me, um, yesterday or something like that, um, but she was, like, asking me, um, how I was doing with everything, and I was just, I told her that, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting more used to it, you know, I'm getting more used to just staying home all the time, um, 
Like, I'm not feeling as stir-crazy as I used to. I'm just getting more used to this life. Um, and, like, honestly, the last couple days, things are looking up. Or, like, there's a potential for things to look up. So it's just, like, I, I was, like, getting excited because I was, like, making some connections. And, like, there's, like, a potential for something. But it's obviously nothing is set in stone right now because of how everything is right now. So... And that's another thing is like my friends and I are talking about how, you know, it's hard to uh, make plans, like plan for the future or anything. Like this whole thing is making me want to move out even more than I ever wanted to. And so I've been like trying to like get even an idea of a group of friends together to move out with. But like even that is like who the heck knows, you know, like I had this one friend that I had like we had discussed it and you know over the over the years you know discussed you know the potential um but now I don't know she doesn't know if she's ready to move out and you know I I don't know when I would move out because obviously I'd want a job first (laughs) I'd want my job back and um but then if there's a second wave you know and then I lose my job again who, who knows so there's just like a um Uh, it's just so hard to plan for the future right now which is awful because I just feel like I've just gotten started you know what I mean I don't know it's weird honestly like I don't know about you guys but like I'm both um like obviously I want everything to go back to normal you know I don't want this to be infecting the world but I'm also like scared for everything to go back to normal like I don't know how else to explain it but I like that I'm scared like I'm scared obviously for how the world is right now and I'm also scared for things to go back to normal because I feel like when I like it's just it's all gonna feel like this 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 like time we existed but then we we didn't really exist You know, it's gonna just, like, feel like this, this dream that we all had, but we don't talk about, you know? I'm, I'm getting, like, super deep right now, but, (laughs) oh, man, but it's just crazy. Like, I, I can't, like, like, I'm trying to imagine going back to work, and I, I struggle to comprehend like because like my biggest fear is to go back to work too early and to um all I'm gonna say is I'm a receptionist so like I I fear going back to work before like before it's like safe and that I'm scared to be at work and then to have to answer dozens of phone calls of people complaining that we're open and then having to like say what (laughs) like you know like what do I I feel like I'm me being you know a representation of the company that I shouldn't just be like yeah I agree we shouldn't be open like what (laughs) like I have to just lie to these people and be like but like it's it's not lying you know (laughs) like do I just be like I understand like I guess I just be like I understand that you you know are are worried and we're doing the best we can (laughs) like I don't understand because like I understand like we're you know you know it's a business and we have to we have to be open because it's a business (laughs) And, you know, um, and, like, that's the whole reason they had to let let us all go, because they didn't have the money to, you know, keep us, keep us, um, on the payroll. And so, obviously, they're losing money. Um, and so, but, yeah, it's just, oh, man, it's crazy. So, that's my main, like, worry, is that we'll open up too early, and that I'm gonna I mean, but that's a, that's a me problem. (laughs) Me just worried about having to deal with people on the phone that are angry 
but I've already dealt with that before. Um, but I guess I've talked long enough. <laughs> I've talked your ear off. I'm sure this video is um, already too long, so I'm going to uh, end it off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling and the sketchbook spread that I did today. Alright, so I guess this is um, everything for this video, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please stay safe out there, have a lovely one, and I will talk to you all later. Alright, bye.